The passing of retired Detective Sergeant Brian Coyle marks the end of an era in North Attleboro law enforcement. The 86-year-old passed away Wednesday after a brief illness. Coyle was a 1955 graduate of North Attleboro High School, where he was an offensive lineman on the Red Rocketeers football team. He joined the U.S. Marines shortly after graduation, serving in Okinawa, Japan. While with the Marines, he played football, taking part in the annual Rice Bowl. Now a postseason college all-star game, the annual matchup then pitted the Marines against the Air Force. He returned to North Attleboro in 1959 and married his high school sweetheart, Leone LaLancette. He joined the NAPD in 1963, walking a beat downtown. He eventually rose to the rank of sergeant, where he was head of detectives, police prosecutor, and custodian. Yes, I said custodian at the same time. Prisoners would often mock him when he cleaned the Mason Street jail cells in the morning and then panic when they saw that same man in a suit standing across from them in court. He survives his older brother, Chief John Coyle, and nephew, Captain Dan Coyle. The three protected the residents of North Attleboro for a combined century plus of service. Sergeant Coyle was recognized by the North Attleboro and Plainville Rotary Club back in 2001 when they honored him with their Outstanding Public Employee Award. Anytime that a police officer gets recognized, it just tingles my heart a little because we go out there every day and do a job. We know the people that some of you people don't know. We know the homeless. We know the guys that drink too much. We know a lot of criminals and so forth and so on. In my career with the North Attleboro Police Department, I've always tried to model myself after my brother John, who I love very deeply, and who's here tonight with the rest of my family. We have suffered a tragedy today when I lost my mother-in-law, who was very dear to me. But on the on the lighter side, and I, I, there's some people here that you know, I'm just I'm just overwhelmed that they would take the time in the effort to be here tonight, I, I really am. Uh, my good friend, Judge Phillips, who, who was the first justice of the district court in Attleboro, who came to Attleboro about three years ago, and we've, we've come, become dear friends. He's a real gentleman and a real jurist, and I'm very happy, Judge, that you could make it tonight. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, that you're here. And of course, my, my daughters, my pride, Brian, sitting there, and the rest of my grandchildren who couldn't be here, they're, they're a little young. And my, and my brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm very humble uh, this evening. But everything certainly doesn't always go smooth in my line of business. Just a couple of weeks ago, the, uh, there was, they come out to, my, out to the garage where I am on a Saturday morning, where we greet all these kids. And they usually bring them out to me, so I usually give them a pep talk in the morning. And Patrick Tryon says, Sarge, we got a couple of winners in the waiting room. <laughs> and I says, oh yeah, Pat? I says, well, you'll bring them right out here. So he brought two lads out, and they stood in the garage. And one kid had an earring on. And I says, I'm going to tell you something, sonny boy. We don't wear earrings around here. <laughs> and I says, the next time I see you, I want to see you with a haircut, too. <laughs> and the, other, the young lad with him, he was smiling. And I says to him, what the hell are you smiling at? <laughs> he says, nothing, sir. And I says to him, you, you're kind of a smart aleck, aren't you, huh? Well, I says, I put plenty of smart aleck through this place. He says, well, I'm not really a smart aleck. I said, let me tell you something, buster. What did you do, anyhow? What did you do, rob a bank or something? You look like a real wise guy. He says, no, he says, I'm here. He says, Father Fitzpatrick sent me down. <laughs> He said, I'm making my first confirmation, and I've got to do 20 hours community service. <laughs> so it always doesn't go smooth. But, but on, a, on a serious note, uh, on a serious note, I've, I've, really, been, I've really been honored uh, to be a policeman uh, all these years. 
between between my brother John and, and my nephew Danny, we have a hundred years service to the town of North Attleboro collectively. And I'm very, very proud to say that we've never tarnished the badge that we wear. We're very proud to wear the badge of the North Attleboro Police Department. And I just want to thank everybody tonight for coming. Uh, I really appreciate it, and God bless you all. Thank you very much. Detective Sergeant Brian Francis Coyle, a man I was proud to call my father-in-law, was 86 years old.